Well, one movement that has gained prominence with the rise of the left wing squad is in, in Congress. It's known as the BDS movement, and Congress has held spirited debates about it. One America's Jack Posobiec sat down with Ned Ryan of American Majority to learn more about the BDS movement. I'd like to welcome back to the show Ned Ryan, the CEO and founder of American Majority. Ned, thanks for being on with us. Good to be back with you, Jack. Ned, I want you to walk us through this thing called the BDS movement. We've heard a lot about it. It's been debated hotly in Congress, but what is it? Where does it come from? What does it mean? Well, no, I, I think there's kind of been a silver lining to this whole situation with, with uh, uh, Ilhan Omar and Rashida Tlaib and the whole situation with being denied entry into Israel because it does revolve around the BDS movement. So BDS stands for boycott divestment and sanction of Israel. It is the targeting of Israel. Uh, again, it, it wants to uh, boycott, have, have nations and companies boycott Israel. It wants to have uh, pension funds and everybody divest from anything that's invested in Israel. And of course, it wants to see more sanctions, making a very uh, poor argument that somehow Israel is an apartheid state. That's their whole argument that somehow Israel is, the is an iteration of, of South Africa. Um, the problem with the BDS movement is deeply anti-Semitic, and the ultimate goal, it's been around about 20 years, Jack, the ultimate goal of the BDS movement is a one-state solution in which Israel ceases to exist. It hands over the land to the Palestinians, and now instead of Israel being on the map, you have Palestine. And I describe it this way. They, they want to tell you that the BDS movement is about equality and freedom. It's not. It is economic war against the state of Israel. Netanyahu has actually described it as economic terrorism against the state of Israel. They have one purpose. It is to make Israel cease to exist as the only Jewish nation state in the world. Incredible. Now, what are the origins of the movement? How did it get started? So it was founded by a Palestinian about 20 years ago. He's born in Qatar, uh, moved back to Israel. The thing that's been insidious about it, they, again, they claim to be this peace-loving, freedom, equality movement. It's gotten a lot of inroads into uh, American universities and colleges. Now you're seeing, you've seen it creep into the Democratic Party, again, into the grassroots, the small dollar donor base. This is why I tell people, even though they, they've tick, they voted down that resolution recently in Congress, Democrats don't want to deal with this because they realize that if they deal with it forcefully, they're going to, to, to basically alienate their grassroots coming into the 2020 election. Yeah, this is really seems like an issue that's splitting the Democrat Party. It is, and it should, and, and it, this should be repudiated. There, there is no discussion about, well, should we even have BDS? It should be repudiated by Democrats and Republicans because of its anti-Semitic nature. The good news is, uh, Jack, over the last few years, there have been about 27 states at the state level that have passed anti-BDS language. Well, and what I want to see happen, this summer, uh, the House, I think it was resolution, uh, House Bill 243, passed a resolution saying, well, the BDS movement is not a good movement, uh, but people should ha still have their freedom of speech. I think we actually need to do what Germany did in May of this year, in which they passed a piece of legislation in which they defined the BDS movement as anti-Semitic and said that the German government could no longer fund any individual or organization, and I would add contractor or business, that has anything to do with the boycotting of the nation of Israel. And that's what I want to see happen, and that's why American Majority Action, the C4 arm of American Majority, is beginning a petition effort today. People can go to AmericanMajorityAction.org and sign that petition. I am going to to aggressively pursue and push Congress to someone in Congress to actually push a bill like that that will define it as anti-Semitic, say that we'll no longer spend any taxpayer dollars on any organization or person or contract or business that is boycotting the nation of Israel. Boycott BDS. That's right. Boycott and eradicate BDS. Ned Ryan, thank you so much for being on. Thanks, Jack. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.